Hey, boys and girls, Doug Childs here. It's Warriors Rich and Wild Man. What's happening, Doug? Yeah. It's, I tell you what, um, you know, people all the time's like, you know, I want to change the world, Lord. I want to be somebody who makes a difference. It's like, no, you don't. No, but people don't want to do this. I'm telling you, they they think that they want to change the world. Rich, they think that they want to be like a, a righteous zeitgeist, somebody who's a gatekeeper. And um, <laughs> if if you want to change the world, if you want to make a, a big old dent in Satan's ha- haggard backside, as I often say, um, in this day and age, oh my God, buddy uh, or lady, you better grow some thick alligator hide. Tucker Carlson, who I think has probably got one of the smartest shows on television right now, not disparaging my other buddies that are out there, but I think Tucker, he's the tip of the spear, man. He's kind of doing it right now. He's, yeah, he's doing it, man. So Tucker, uh, he's been talking this week, says Biden. Hello, folks. Remember Joe Biden, the one that was going to be someone who's not untoward like that orange man named Donald Trump. Doug, nobody remembers Biden. Biden doesn't even remember Biden. <laughs> Remember they said, well, you know, Joe Biden is going to return things back to normal and he won't do mean tweets. But you know what Joe Biden's NSA will do? Well, if they view you as a as a threat, you know, an, an insurrectionist, I believe, Rich, that's what we're being labeled, then they're going to spy on your ass. Yeah, they're going to intercept your emails. They're going to intercept your text messages. And you're like, well, that's not a, you know, uh, again, if you're a leftist, you think that ain't a big deal. You could sure. be part of the that right wing cabal, and um, but the NSA, Rich, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it only existed, should never been built. You know, this is something mm-hmm. that goes right back to George W. Bush, man, and the Patriot, uh, uh, the Patriot they, Act. Yeah, the Patriot Act. Like we're going to, you know, make sure nobody attacks us. Ooh, let's go spy on our citizens. That's total bullshit. It's for people, and I guarantee. I tell people all the yeah, time. Yeah, and I also think that. Uh, George H.W. and George W. both can get together and ingest a satchel of Richards. Let me just throw that out there. Those guys suck. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, but how do you really feel, Rich? I I can't stand those freaking freedom-stealing political dogs. They're all dogs. Yeah, I... You know, they're big government globalists, man. And um, and we got suckered in because of, you know, George W.'s quaint southern draw. And, yeah, just uh, leave me the hell alone. Let me worship really just, God and raise my family. Like, I don't even care. Right. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. Just leave me the hell alone. Sprinkle no, we're going to tell you what to do. We're going to teach your kids about anal sex when they're six years old. So right. you teach my kids about sex, you're a pedophile. You're getting shot. There we go. I don't even care if you're a teacher. I'm going to teach my kids about sex. I'm going to teach you about dying. Slow. Yeah, so, so um, uh, again, Joe Biden, who was like Obama, going to right the world after the orange bad man Uh, completely upset the apple cart by being an epic liberty and freedom interrupter. Uh, Biden is now spying on Tucker Carlson. So uh, we've been told that we should trust the government. Remember that, Rich? Yeah. And that the experts, because they have our best interest in mind. Uh, So what happens when they're caught (laughs) red handed in betraying trust? The Democrats and their activist enablers embedded in the permanent government class have no scruples about weaponizing the powers of government against their political rivals. Exactly. Even when the laws explicitly, people, do this thing called forbid it. So got the NSA, got the Democrats, you got Tucker Carlson, had a whistleblower who said, dude, we have here at the NSA your emails. Tucker's like, prove it. And he reads a transmission of emails and texts that Tucker only sent to one other person. And that one other person did not forward it on to the NSA or the FBI. They freaking came in there, grabbed it, and got it. And that's the world, my friends, that America is living in. And you're like, well, shoot, they're not going to do it to me. Well, if you ever come online, if you ever do anything significant, If all of a sudden you're put into an altercation where the spotlight's on you and then you get elevated, then you better brace for the crunch, buddy. And like I said, if you want to change the world, then these anti-Christian, anti-theistic Marxist radicals, they their sole purpose will be to completely F you up, shut you down, ruin you forever. And they do it with impunity while they 
eat their little soy, you know, crackers and chase it with a soy latte. This is not uh, uh, America in the way that it's supposed to be constituted. Yep. And we don't believe in freedom anymore. We don't believe in rights. We don't believe in the Constitution. The other day I was reading an article, and it's definitely not in comparison, but it shows how ridiculous the government's getting. I was reading an article that a guy bought some property in California, and they had some Joshua trees on it, and he cut them down to make room for what he was building, and the government came and slapped him with this big old fine. And so I commented on the article. I said, hey, what happened to freedom? That's his property. And this guy literally said this, Doug. He said, protecting endangered species is one of the fundamental responsibilities of government. What? I, I wrote back, I said, it's funny, I've read the Constitution a few times and I don't remember reading anything about protecting species. And I said, now, if you say that protecting endangered species is a role for government, I wouldn't say that they wouldn't have a role in it. I said, but the fact that you would say it's a fundamental role I said, that's absolutely ludicrous because this person, and, and some people think this is irrelevant. They'll be like, ah, oh, shut up. We don't care. I'll tell you what, when the government tells you that you can't cut down some stupid tree that's on your property, they are so far in our business that we, when we think that's okay or it's reasonable, they're so far in our business. We're so far past being able to stop them that now they're taking emails, they're reading emails and texts and listening in on personal phone calls of private citizens of the United States of America. And, and they're weaponizing the NSA. They're weaponizing the CIA and the FBI. They're weaponizing them against what? The number one enemy that they see, which is white local um, supremacists that are terrorists they see in America. That's the number one. They're literally saying that that's opening the door. Patriot Act. If you're white and you're a conservative, Patriot Act opens the door because they've deemed you a terrorist now and they can literally go right in and read everything. And I'll tell you what, I got, I got audited by the IRS for two years. It was so fun. The issue, by the time it was all over, I think I paid like $6,000, which is stupid. You never get audited and pay nothing, but I did. I only paid $6,000 and, and it's money I owed. So I didn't care. I pay my taxes, right? So here's the deal though, Doug. It was one of the most violating feelings ever to have the IRS go through every bank account, every credit card, every deposit, every payment, every person who ever gave you money, I, I didn't do anything wrong, but guess what? I felt violated with you going through my personal things. Look, you know what's in my underwear drawer, Doug? Underwear and socks. You know what I don't want? People going through my underwear drawer because it's my underwear and, it's, and my socks. It's my personal life. This is, I'm a person and there's certain rights given by God. And this is one of them. And that kind of stuff, Doug, people think, well, it's just Tucker. I don't like him. You know what? People who think like that, their life is not based on principles. You're a stupid person. You're an idiot. If you think that it's good when principles are violated that benefit you and hurt your enemy, you're a stupid idiot. I want you to know life is going to be cruel to you because you're a stupid person. Principles are principles. I don't want them doing that to my enemy, Doug. I don't want them going into uh, Anderson Cooper's emails. I would be just as mad today. Yep. Um, what's that other guy's name on there? The guy that is a, another crazy... Hey. Yes, yeah, so you got Don Lamont. I would be just as You've mad. Got, yeah. yeah, him. I would be just as right. mad, Doug. Just as mad. <clears throat> not liberals. Not liberals. Principles don't matter. Right. Yeah, they think it's funny. I mean, they did it to James Rosen, who's a, a Fox News, uh, I think he's a reporter, you know, back in the day. And they also, they not only just focused on James Rosen when he was dancing around a lot of uh, Obama's uh uh, what do you call it? All of his epic Marxist underhanded weirdness. And uh, they also tapped uh, James Rosen's mom and dad's phone, got into their emails, and it's all just legit because, like you said, Rich, they're considered a domestic enemy. Uh, they're calling <laughs> if, uh, if, if you lack uh, pigmentation and you steer your magic bus happily uh, right of center, then you're the devil after January 6th. 
And if you, if again, you know, when people, they're like, I want to change the world. I want to run for local politics. I want to do this and this with the church. And I want to, and if, and if you really go forward uh, defending that, which is holy, just, and true now, you're a target, man. You got a, you got a big ass target on you. And uh, you, sir, madam, uh, young person, you need to flip and know that. And uh, I remember when, you know, Hannah destroyed Acorn. They hacked our Facebook uh, direct messages. They took all of our messages, whoosh, and pulled them out of the inbox. Uh, our phone, our phone numbers have never been listed. You don't list cell phone numbers. We still had a, a landline back then. Never been listed ever, ever, ever. They would frickin' ring off the hook. CNN would be contacting us. People that was threatening to, to murder my daughter Hannah because she exposed Obama's claim to fame giving home loans for whorehouses for underage sex slaves from El Salvador. And all that stuff that we thought was private information that I'm just chatting back and forth with my Facebook buddy, you know, about what's going on in life and what's going on with Hannah's investigation. All of a sudden, wham, gone. Uh, Hannah would call one of her buddies in Houston, hey, so-and-so, Awesome, this is going down. Hey, maybe we can meet uh, in Texas. Are you going to be up in New York City when I'm doing this interview? Click, hang up, see you later. And immediately they would call Hannah's friend and say, can you get Hannah to do CNN tonight? So they not only had Hannah's information, she's calling her buddy who lives in Houston. They freaking call uh, her buddy immediately because they can't get a straight line to Hannah because we're shutting down all Jeez. comms. And stuff. So again, I want to change the world. You know, I want the Lord to use me. He's like, I don't know. I don't know. Not in this day and age. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you become a target. David uh, freaking became King David because his life was put in the crucible. Right. And you look at Tucker, man. I think the only the only reason uh, what did Greenwald say about it? I can't read it. Did you see the text that Zeke just sent in? Yeah, he said, I'm in no way ratifying or supporting the claim that NSA collected the communications of Carlson or any Fox host simply because I don't know. But what I know for sure is that this is NSA's non-denial denial using the same false framework they always use to mislead the public. Yeah. And uh, again, I'll remember or remind people, and it's not a shocker for our audience, that this is Biden's NSA this we is got, crap let, that let me let me read the yeah, rest of the thing sorry he said back in 2013 using the nsa's top secret documents i reported in detail how the nsa collects stores and monitors americans communications without a warrant and without targeting the american which is all which is all nsa denies that it did so they were he 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 knows he has the information yeah. and they still deny it so they're still denying what they've always denied. Yeah, and here's, here's, uh, here's a sad, I mean, that is horribly sad, but here's um, the little pathetic uh, point about weaponizing the NSA and the FBI and the CIA and stuff like that. These poor little leftists and their failed, feckless little ideas that have been tried all around the planet all their Marxism, all their big government, you know, goonish overreach has been tried mm-hmm. for, you know, the better part of a century or more than a century. And it's always been found wanted. Nobody, nobody wants it uh, once it's implemented. People starve, people get murdered, and uh, they, they take a formerly, you know, decent country and turn it into what Donald Trump would call a shithole. Yep. And so, so if you have people that are who who are a voice against that kind of garbage and you don't have competitors like CNN or MSLSD or CNBC or ABC CBS or NBC that can't compete with it uh, whether it's on regular television or online then what you do is that you get some guy who's incredibly effective who 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 loves this thing called liberty and our founding documents and you destroy his life you can't mm-hmm. compete with them from an ideological standpoint. Nobody wants to listen, you know, to your horse shit about the virtues of Marxism. We can see yeah. through your veil of crap. And so what they do instead of take Tucker on and in the theater of mine during this thing called an open debate. No, let's just shut him down. Let's yep. ruin his life. 
let's uh, let's take some tawdry little thing, and uh, you know that he might have done ten years. Not saying that there is anything like that, but can you imagine going through all your emails and texts? And there's going to be something that can be misconstrued. I guarantee it on Twitter. Uh, in order to cause, you know, people, and they've already tried to do it at his home, to show up at his home and burn the house down. Yep, I have a personal story that I can't share, but I could tell you that uh, I had a government organization crack one of my cell phones and go through every single text, every single thing in my phone. I believe it. And you know what they found out? Tell I'm me. Me, I'm mean. You're mean. Yep. And I was like, well, y'all knew Dude, that they, first. They, you can, yeah, you can, you, I can look at you and, and I get the meanness, man. You know? Yeah. You really have you to know go what? through text. To people that are full of crap and people that are liars and in denial and people that are evil, I am mean. People that lie to themselves and want to continue to live like idiots, I, I am mean. You can call it whatever you want. But anybody, you could, you could be on the bottom and turn around and want help, put your hand up, and I'll help you out. You know, it's real. Happened to me. Yeah, so uh, Tucker said the Biden administration is spying on us. Him, Tucker Carlson's show mm -hmm. after, uh, he said after asserting it is illegal for the NSA to spy on American citizens. And again, just want you to know that war is wild men, folks. Uh, accusing the NSA of covertly picking up his electronic communication, Carlson insisted that there's no other possible source of that information. Carlson Carlson, whose uh, show averages millions of viewers, said his team filed a Freedom of Information Act FOIA request asking for all the information the NSA and other agencies have gathered about mm. his show. They also reached out to the press offices of the NSA and the FBI in comment. And uh, he said, so when, when this was printed, they hadn't gotten in touch with the NSA. And it's like, hey, man, WTF, why are you taking my emails, my text messages? So they finally got a hold of him last night, and uh, Tucker said that they had a heated conversation. And like Greenwald said, the, the non-denial denial, denial uh, is telling that, you know, they did do it. And so they're trying to romance the stone, glaze over the donut, look over there, there's a sparrow, and not have everybody focus in on the hard fact that our frickin' government is spying on a good citizen just yep. like Tucker Carlson. It's disgusting yep. people. And uh, the government is is not your buddy. So no. anyway, so what do we do, Rich? What do we do besides uh, use Wire app for all of our communications? I don't care. And, they can look uh, at mine. They can piss off. I hope they find out that I'm just a terrible person, and then they can tell everybody, and I won't even care. How about that? Um, yeah, if I say it, I, whatevs, bro. Whatevs. <laughs> That's my attitude. So. Yeah, I just want to be left alone. I just want to be an American. I want my freedom. I ain't hurting nobody. I'm not trying to bother nobody. But don't come try to take my freedom or mess with my family. We'll have a problem. Go to warriorswildmen.com. Subscribe, like us, love us. Leave us a comment. We'll send you a couple emails a week. Uh, we won't flood your inbox, but we'll send you a couple. Just let you know what's happening. If You, you can listen to us on any, uh, any platform for podcasts, but remember to still go and subscribe. It's free. Subscribe so that you can stay in touch with us. And if you want to support us, hit the war chest, send your tax deductible gift. We'll send you the information for that. For those that are doing it, thank you so much. You guys are making it happen. Warriors and Wild Men, out.